Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Vanessa DeBerle and earlier on my last video, I promised you I would take you step by step on how to sell your products on Facebook Marketplace. I'm also going to share three other places that you can sell your stuff. If this is a time that you're stuck at home and you can sit around and watch TV and play video games or you can start cleaning out closets, finding things to sell and make a little bit of money. You may need the money to pay some bills or maybe you just need some extra cash because you've got treasure sitting in your house. So I'm going to show you th four different ways. Um, first of all, there is a program called Poshmark. Poshmark actually sells clothes. You can go there to buy clothes or you can sell them. So if you are really into name brand clothes and you have a lot of cute things, this is the way I would recommend selling them. These are kind of things that might do uh, be too good to sell to yard sale, if that makes sense. But this gives you an idea right here. As you um, look on the screen, you can see some of the different brand names that are selling on Poshmark. Um, just sign up for the program and they'll tell you exactly what to do and you can go in and list your stuff. Now you're going to have to ship things. So um, you're going to have to, what I used to do when I sold on you, uh, <laughs> eBay years ago, I was taking piles of packages to the post office um, at a time. And with this virus and the quarantine going on, you might want to just make maybe one trip a week. Uh, maybe go early in the morning when there aren't a lot of people there. Even call, just say, when is it a good time to come in with some packages that you're not really busy and then that way you can at least go in and not have a lot of people waiting on you while you're um, delivering your packages hopefully you'll have a few my favorite way right now to sell online is Facebook marketplace and I'm going to take you through it um, step by step you can do this on your phone I'm going to show you on the laptop but you just go over here to the left I just typed in facebook.com and went to marketplace when you get in there you want to write go up here where it says sell something so you're going to sell your product now a lot of people will say well i don't know how much to sell it for my advice there is um i'm going to talk about that in a minute but we're going to go here item for sale and just kind of kind of follow it follow it each step you're going to have to um select the category um then you're going to have to give it a title we're just going to get back up here And, and just go through, um, I don't live in Fort Worth, Texas. You're going to make sure you double check that, that it is your town. And then just bring in the pictures. And then when you're finished, people will just um, contact you and say, hey, nine times out of 10, they're going to ask you to come down. So my advice is always put it just a little bit higher than what you want. I would say one, maybe 20% of the time, one out of five they'll they'll just buy it and they don't ask everybody else um, will ask you to come down and that's fine if you don't want to come down then don't i i just pretty much advise you to sell the products at a price that's worth it to you even if you're giving it away or if you want too much you know you have to price it to what the worth is to you if you really want to get rid of it put it at the price you want and if they come in and start bargaining then bargain the neat thing is sometimes people ask you to trade things so you might even make some cool trades but it's fun it's really fun we've been meeting people in um i live out in the country so we have we'll make a trip into town it's about 20 to 30 minutes away depending on traffic and we'll meet people at the parking lot at bob evans where there's no traffic at all and we just give them the product and they give us the money so um and then when we're there we just make that our trip to go get gas or go get food or whatever we need to do and then we come home so we kind of plan the trip around our outing when we have to go to town but in the last week i've sold like eight items i feel like right now is a good time to sell because people are sitting at home and they're bored so you can be the person selling or you can be the person buying but right now is a really good time to get rid of some of your treasures and you may have people ask you know you know i've lost my job can i have it for free that's up to you i mean there's people out there that will take your stuff for free as well if you really want to get rid of it but marketplace is a perfect place to sell the only thing you can't sell there are things like weapons obviously but you can't sell livestock so we do have a mini farm um, and if you want to sell livestock then you want to go over to craigslist um, or you can sell your other products there as well and when you go in you just uh, create an account and then under your account it's going to say create a posting and you just select it 
and then it's going to take you right in and follow the steps just like you did with Facebook Marketplace. Like I said, um, on this one you go to for sale by owner and then it just keeps going through. On this one, I do leave my text number so that they can text me. On Facebook Marketplace, they just reply and it automatically comes right to my phone because I have the Facebook app on my phone. So it's really convenient. Um, Again, if you're selling animals, then you want to sell them here on Craigslist. You're not allowed to do that on Facebook Marketplace. You want to, you might want to look at the policies of each if you're not sure. But basically, that's the, the main thing I do. I come here to sell eggs and chickens and goats, and I sell my other stuff on Facebook Marketplace. One other place that is really good to sell is eBay. Um, I remember back in like 2000, I, eBay was still pretty new back then. It's, it's, it's been, it's probably, I don't know how old it is, but I know at that time there weren't as many people selling. And I had moved from Indiana to Ohio, got a new house, and I had just enough money to buy the house, but didn't have a lot of money to fix it up that needed some repairs. So I just started selling stuff on eBay and I was doing so well that we started going to yard sales and buying stuff. Now you can't do that now, obviously, but my point is there's lots of creative ways to, to get stuff to sell. So if you find you're really good at this, you can turn it into a business. I went out and did yard sales and sold stuff that I picked up at yard sales. And then if I found a hot item, okay, for instance, years ago, Polly Pockets were very, very, very popular. And people would sell them for like, um, you know, a whole big, gross a whole big lot of them they called a lot and i would get all these little houses and poly pockets and things a big box of them for like 60 dollars and then i would break them apart into little sets and then i would sell them for 20 25 30 dollars a piece as a little set and i would easily d uh, triple quadruple my money on on something like that because that was popular at the time so you could even try that if there's something that you know that's hot right now Go into eBay, go into Facebook Marketplace, buy it cheap, turn around and sell it for more. So that's another thing you can do if you don't have a lot of your own items around your house. So get busy, start going through your closets and sell some stuff that you have or get innovative and go buy stuff and then resell it. Especially if you're into clothes and you can pick them up at good prices buy them and resell them. I remember Levi jeans have always been a hot commodity um, for clothes. It always has been. And I remember picking those up at yard sales and things. And like I said, you can't go to yard sales, obviously, right now, but pick them up online. Find a way to pick them up and then resell them. Um, and you just have to play with it. And you'll start, the more you dig in, the more you'll see. I had a friend once that um, back when I was doing eBay, um, I was babysitting also. And the one of the fathers that came in, he would buy old yucky parts, he said, on eBay. Like they were all, you know, dirty and stuff. And he'd get them really dirt cheap. And then he said, I just took them home. I cleaned them up, made them shine. And again, he said, I'd buy something for 12 bucks and sell it for like 150 because people saw it as junk and they were trying to get rid of it. Now, the only thing different about eBay than the other three programs that I just showed you, eBay is an auction. And typically people are going in and auctioning, um, bidding on things. Let's go ahead real fast. And um, here's something I just sold this week. American Girl accessories felicity this is a felicity doll um and i found in the closet a little accessory pack i must have picked it up for my two youngest girls who are in their 20s now and this is one right here it's the exact same one and it was in a little box like ready for a gift and i must have picked up two of these little boxes and never gave it to them and of course they don't want them now they're they're not playing with american girl dolls so i put them on Facebook Marketplace and actually got $30 and the woman asked no questions. You can see the same item here for $39.99. So my point is somebody who maybe that's what that woman did. Maybe she said, that's a good price. I'm going to turn around and sell it for more. And if you scroll down, there's people selling the same item for $60. Now, some of these are um, people will come in and just put a price on it. This one right here, see how it has seven bids at $23. People are still bidding on it. So it's fun. Um, your heart rate will go up. You sit there, um, <laughs> you watch it go up, and it's just as much fun to bid on other things. One other item that I sold this week um, on Facebook Marketplace. Let's go ahead and... 
I am selling some uh, willow tree figurines. Now I have mine as uh, individually I was selling them or as a whole set, but you can see here people are bidding on them. Some of them are going low and it gives me an idea of nothing else. Like, do I have my stuff priced well? If I have something the same, maybe it's not selling. You can, you know, go over to eBay and see what is it selling for over there. Maybe I have a price too high. Maybe I have a price too low. But again, that's the difference with eBay and the other three um, different programs is that people are going to bid. So you're going to have to come in and, and just hope that you can make some money. I remember one time I sold an item on eBay and it was something I picked up in a, at a yard sale years and years and years ago. I, I like old things and I picked up an old clarinet and it had the old um, metal um keys and it had the cork in it and stuff it was re really old clarinet like a wooden one and cork and everything i picked it up for like twenty dollars and i i moved it's actually when i moved up to ohio and i thought what am i going to do with this let's just get rid of it maybe i'll get my 20 bucks back well evidently it was a rare musical instrument that they didn't make anymore i ended up sending it to japan and i made like 300 dollars on it and again it was something i picked up at a yard sale for 20 bucks didn't even know what I had and the bidding went crazy on it. People kept asking questions and um, what I think what helped is a couple of people who knew what the item was went in and were making comments about it and giving it more description and then that helped it to sell because I had no idea what I had. Um, so it's it can be fun. Sometimes you'll hit that one thing that you don't even know what you've got and it's a, it's a windfall. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Stay busy. Do something um, and try not to keep eating and try not to keep drinking and try not to keep playing video games and watching TV. So clean, go clean out some closets, find some treasures, um, make boxes of things that you can take to Goodwill when, when we can do that again. And, you know, when this is over, you'll have a nice clean house. You have a little pocket full of change. And if you have fun with it, you can keep doing it and turn it into a little side business like I did. I made thousands of dollars 20, back when eBay just started. I had so many things to sell. And again, I haven't done it in so long and I'm doing it again, like not on eBay, but Facebook Marketplace. And it's hot right now because I've, I've tried to sell before, like in the last few months and things weren't moving. And then all of a sudden COVID came along and people are home um, they want something to do and they're buying stuff. So this is a great time to do it. All right. Let me know below what you've been doing to get rid of your stuff and what site you've been using. If there's any others, share them with us. These are the four that I am aware of. And um, hopefully there's more and you can share that in our, the comments so that all of us can know about it. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you on the next video.